Ta-da! What you got, buddy? <laughs> well, I made it this morning. We've been talking about recess, and it made me think of this game we used to play called Telephone. We'd have paper cups and a really long string in between. We'd go different places in the playground to see if the person on the other end of the line could hear us. Yeah, I heard of that. Yeah, I, I never told anyone except for my grandma, but I actually made a small one like this when I was a kid, and I would hold one end up in the air, and I would pray into the other side. I thought it would make God hear me better. Did it work? I don't know. Here, hold this side. Hello! Hello, Emma! Can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. You're right next to me. I'm Jay. And I'm Emma. You know what? I'm gonna FaceTime Grandma to see if she still has that cup phone I made when I was a kid. I bet she does. She keeps everything. Yeah, maybe her cats use it to communicate. <laughs> oh. Hey, Grandma, where are you? What are you doing? Hey, Jay, I'm practicing my trick shots. Trick shots? Oh, hey, Emma, yep. Trick shots. I play ball once a week to stay spry, you know. Anyway, I started doing trick shots, someone posted it, and then I got a million followers on uh, the YouTubes. My grandma is a trick shot artist with one million followers on YouTube? Awesome, grandma. What's your secret? <laughs> well, that's easy. I check it up, and then I pray. That reminds me, I was gonna ask you if you still had that cup phone I made to pray when I was little. That? Oh, I would never throw that away. It actually works. My cats use it. Knew, Knew it. it! I gotta go, JJ. Trick shots to make. Bye! Oh. Wow, how cool would it be to help your grandma make one of her trick shots? Very cool. Wait, you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. How do those cats Socrates and Nostradamus communicate? I mean, does you mean more than one thing? No! Oh, right! Three, two, one, press play! Meow! Jay and Emma, you're here! Well, we wanted to help you with one of your famous viral, I guess, trick shots. Oh, I'm so glad. So, how do you do it? Well, the first step is dreaming up the shot I want to make. I think this time maybe I'll, um... Hold the ball only in one hand. Yeah! Oh, and turn your back to the basket. Yeah, you know it. And maybe, as a cherry on the top, I could also close my eyes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wait, if you have your back to the basket, why do you need to have your eyes closed? Oh, Emma, because my fans on the YouTubes, they're gonna love it. That's why. Right! Well, what's next? Then I say my little prayer. You know, this goofy trick shot stuff has been a good way to talk to God more. Mm. I don't always make the shots the first time, second time, 50th time, but I always pray, and I know that God hears every prayer. How do you know that? Well, there's a lot of reasons, but one reason is the story I know about a woman named Hannah in the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 1. Her prayer to God was much more serious than a trick basketball shot. You see, she was experiencing sadness and pain around not being able to have a child of her own. Hannah really wanted a child and couldn't. It must have been such a difficult time. So hard. Yeah, it makes me feel sorry for Hannah. Me too. One day, she was in the temple, which was like their church, and she was praying. She was praying in her heart, but her mouth was moving. Do you ever do that? Yeah. I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, Eli, who was the priest, like a pastor there, thought it was a little weird. He even thought that Hannah might be unwell because she was moving her mouth and crying and crying. So he told her to leave. Well, that's not very nice. I guess it could look a little strange and Eli was in charge of the temple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, Emma. But Hannah explained about her situation and her sadness. She even said that if she had a child, that child would be committed to God their whole life. Eli changed his tune then. He knew Hannah was for real. He told her in 1 Samuel 1:17, go in peace and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. So Hannah left and her sadness started to feel less. So did it happen? You bet, Hannah had a son. She named him Samuel. Wait, this book of the Bible is called Samuel. Yeah, exactly, because Hannah kept her promise. 
Samuel went to go work in the temple, starting at a very young age, and then he went viral. Viral? Well, yeah, viral for back then. He became a famous prophet. And, uh, you know, a shining example for Hannah and all of us that God answers my prayers. Money. Now that means that you two have to go. Quick, get this shot with my phone. A trick shot while the big ID alarm is going off will be a, uh, well, what's the word? Oh yeah, epic. Oh, all right. Emma, you got it? Mm -hmm. Go for it, Here Grandma. Whether I hit the shot or miss doesn't really matter because you're there helping me through whatever happens next. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Whoa! Hey, Grandma! Hey. Whoa. <laughs> nice, Grandma. Secret handshake time? Yeah. Join in for the press play handshake. Let's go. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I wasn't recording. Ooh. Oh. to keep practicing. Whether we end up hitting trick shots or not, we definitely need to keep praying. Let's recap. We pressed play and wound up shooting trick shots with Grandma. She shared the story of Hannah from 1 Samuel with us. Hannah prayed with everything she had, and Eli was there to remind her that God answers prayers. Have you prayed today? Remember, there's nothing you can't talk to God about. Now it's time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse. Boom! Oh. Ooh, I think it's time to drop the bus. Emma, you know it. Here we go. Show them how it's done. <laughs> See what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. First John 3, 1. Oh! See what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. First John 3, 1. John 3, 